We begin today in Henderson, where a neighborhood is recovering after that overnight fire. Started at a mobile home park last night, started at one unit, quickly spread to five others near Warm Springs and Lake Mead. Bianca Holman spoke with residents there who are now without a home. The American Red Cross is here at the Heritage Park Senior Facility, helping those impacted by the fire overnight. They're providing food, water, and accommodations for those who lost everything. I went to let my dogs out and I saw this glowing flame across the street I thought it was my neighbors. So I went out and checked closer and I saw flames. So it it appeared to be a mobile home fire. So I got on my phone and dialed 911. Just before 11 Sunday night, one mobile home caught on fire in the Alta Vista neighborhood. But the strong winds fanned the flames, quickly spreading to five other units like Lori Connor's home. The hot ambers dropped down and caught the whole back fence on fire and then two mobile homes, mine included and my neighbors. This is what's left of her home. Clark County and Henderson Fire Departments rushed to put out the blaze and rescued residents, even cutting into a fence so that people could escape. Nathan Boone, who lives in the complex, also helped his neighbors get to safety. The shed was completely lit up in flames, completely crashing down. And so I just ran in there, tried to pull them out as fast as I possibly could, and then I ran to the next person and tried to help as many people as I possibly could. These are the remains from where homes once stood, where memories were made. Destruction from a fire leaving families homeless. That's not a Father's Day I want to remember now. It's sad. I don't want to remember this not one at all. In We're told there were no injuries or deaths in this incident. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Reporting from the Southeast Valley, Bianca Holman, 8 News Now.